Welcome to Exar Template Tutorial Lesson Number 65. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about a new slider widget or photo slideshow in Exar Web Designer MX Premium version 8. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a new document. And once you do that, let's go ahead and go to the right side of our screen to the designs gallery. And we're going to go ahead and lock that panel. And as you notice already, if you've looked at the designs gallery in version 8 premium, you'll see that it's a lot different. And so I'm going to have to probably guide you through how to get to the Nevo slider for this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and take a look. You're going to look for the folder that says page elements. And that's about the fourth folder down. And you're going to left click on that folder. And then a sub list of folders will come up. And you're going to look for the folder that says photos because we want to open up a photo slideshow. So left click on photos. And when you click on photos, I'm actually going to close out all my sub menus. So you should, yours should look something like this. Mine was open because I previously came to this folder. But when you click on photos, you should see a sub list of uh, folders for that too. And you're going to look for the folder that says photo slideshows and it's going to have it in, in parentheses widgets so you'll know that you're opening up a widget so left click on that folder and when you left click on that folder you'll see a picture that looks like I don't know what these things are called but I know it has to do with green energy uh, so you'll look for the picture that looks like this one here and if you can't find the picture you'll at least see the words Nevo slider um, listed right below it and you're going to left click and drag that into your workspace and when you drag that into your workspace, you'll see this nice, sleek, and elegant um, photo slider, in my opinion. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's a slight drop shadow behind the picture to kind of give it some depth and life to the image. And also below that, you'll see that it has these circle dots. And these circle dots are for transitioning between your different photos. And in my opinion, it was an excellent choice on Xara's part to do this because now it'll be able to easily flow uh, with your, any website you're pretty much designing just because of the color usage and if you if you use version 7 you'll know that in version 7 they had these square blocks with numbers on it and they had like a bluish greenish kind of color and you couldn't change that but with this it uses a black and white circle which in my opinion will blend with pretty much any website out there so let's go ahead and double left click on this uh, photo slider so that we can go into edit mode. And when you go into edit mode, the first thing I want you to do is scroll down. And in your first image, go ahead and double click on your caption text. And you can name it whatever you want to. In this case, I'm going to name it Green Company Produces New Technology to save. 1 billion hours of electricity. I'm just making up something here. It doesn't have to be realistic, but in this case, I'm going to make up a title. So give it whatever title you want. And when you're done giving it a title, let's go ahead and preview this in our web browser. So go to pri File and then go to Preview Website after going to File. and once you get to preview mode you'll see all the different transitions and I'll, and I'll show you that by clicking on uh, these different dots down here and you'll see that as I click on these different uh, circle dots it transitions with different types of transitions and the reason that's happening is because I have it set to random and that reason I set it to random is I want you to see the different transition effects that are available to you um, for the Nevo slider and again I, I just think that it's a really nice sleek and elegant design and it's going to really make your website stand out compared to competitors and let's go back actually to the first slider so I can show you the caption text there and you'll see that it indeed says green company produces new technology to save 1 billion hours of electricity now there's actually two ways that you can transition through uh, photos for this particular photo slider not just these little dots here Let's say that for some reason you're not able to see these dots that well on the website. The alternative is to click on the left and right arrows 
in your photo slider in the main part of your picture so if I want to go forward I would click on the right arrow if I wanted to go backwards I would click on the left arrow so this is pretty much the Nevo slider for you it is um, again one of the most amazing sliders in my opinion in the Xara software as a widget uh, there is one other thing I could show you and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now is you know we have it set to random if you if you go up to the first um, section that has this little kind of like note card here for the Nevo slider you'll see that in section 3 uh, you have the ability to change the transition effect by choosing one of these numbers they have listed here so right now we have it set to 1 and if you look at the transition effect box if you double left click in there you'll be able to change that number from 1 if you don't want to leave it as 1 so for example if we wanted it to slice down we would change it to number 2 go to our selection tool after we're done making our edits and then go to file preview website and from now on instead of transitioning with different effects it's only going to use that one effect and you'll see that here you'll see that it transitions with a slice effect only and it doesn't use a randomized um, transition effect so you can pick whatever effect that you want to use and apply it and in addition to that you can also change the delay time if you go to section 4 here and if you go to section 4 you'll see that it's set to 10 seconds if you wanted to change every two seconds you could put in a number two select your selection tool after you're done making your edits go to file preview website and every two seconds it will automatically change so you'll see that it's a much faster um, transition uh, phase so you can kind of modify it to place it however fast you want it and that is everything for this tutorial so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you subscribe and bed or give us feedback or favorite our video that kind of thing let us know how we're doing and uh, hopefully we, we earned our thumbs up for this training tutorial hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day